Hello everyone, Elite Cameraman here. Today we'll talk about the strongest Skibidi toilet that we've seen so far, the G-Man Skibidi toilet. Even though we haven't seen G-Man for a while after the events of episode 47, it's likely that G-Man will start appearing a lot more in the coming episode because the Skibidi toilets have been struggling to fight back against the cameraman after all their upgrades, like the new weapons, the Titan cameraman being upgraded the new Mecha Scientist Cameraman, and more. In today's video, we'll discuss how the G-Man became the most powerful Skibidi toilet, where did he come from, how he might be getting more upgrades after the events of episode 47, and why is he an essential part of the Skibidi toilets that are trying to invade the whole world. So if you don't want to miss any interesting secrets, make sure to watch until the end. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. As you know, G-Man has been a crucial part of the series since the beginning. It even goes back as far as episode one of Skibidi Toilet. Before we can even see the first Skibidi Toilet, we see a small G-Man dancing in the first second of the series. This makes me believe that he will stay as the strongest Skibidi Toilet until the end of the series, since he already has been getting some crazy upgrades, but we'll get to those later in the video. In episode three, we see a G-Man running away from the Skibidi toilets, but this might mean that there were more than one G-Man at the beginning of the Skibidi toilet universe, and this does make sense when you think about it. As you know, G-Man is a character from Half-Life, and in the latest game of the series, Half-Life Alex, we can see that he can make copies of himself hinting at the fact that he might be capable of being present at multiple places at once. This most likely confirms that every G-Man we see in the series before he becomes a Skibidi Toilet might be a different copy of him sharing the same knowledge because in Episode 4 of the Skibidi Toilet series we get to see him again in a restaurant where everyone is sitting on a toilet. After the invasion of Skibidi Toilets started, people most likely started protesting against the toilets. But this doesn't last long because right after Skibidi Toilets start marching inside the restaurant and start singing the Skibidi Bop Bop. Everyone inside that was sitting on a toilet turns into a Skibidi toilet as well. We don't get to see G-Man's first time becoming a Skibidi toilet in this episode, but remember what I said about he might have more copies of himself. Maybe even now there are more copies of him still out there, and maybe one of his versions is the scientist that's upgrading the Skibidi toilets. Who knows? Because as you know, G-Man is a mysterious character that is very powerful and also does understand a lot about new bleeding edge technologies. If you want me to make a video about this theory, make sure to let me know in the comments. And what happens in Episode 5 most likely confirms my G-Man having more copies theory, because even though we know for a fact that G-Man turned into a Skibidi toilet in Episode 4, we can see G-Man dancing in the sewers when the giant flying Skibidi toilets are attacking. How could he be there in human form and be there if he just turned into a Skibidi toilet? And it's weird because while everyone else is scared and running away, he is there just dancing around, which might imply that he is on their side or just powerful enough to not care a single bit. We get to see G-Man's human form up close in Episode 6, but I do think that this episode was just made for fun and didn't really include any lore, but it still doesn't bust the theory but further confirms it if we count the episode as an actual episode. Episode 7 is the first actual episode where the lore of the series actually starts. Episode until now, there wasn't a cameraman POV, but it was more like a movie. But in this episode, we can see our shadow hinting at us that we are now a cameraman. We didn't know this back then, but if you look closely, we can see the camera head pretty clearly. This is also our first interaction with the Skibidi toilets. We go up to one and flush one, killing it for good, but right after us flushing it, many Skibidi toilets start rushing towards us, and seconds later there is a huge explosion introducing us to the G-Man Skibidi toilet for the first time, and he looks quite mad that we flushed a Skibidi toilet. After this episode, we don't see G-Man toilet until episode 12, and even though his appearance hasn't changed, we get to see him use his laser eyes for the first time. We have no idea if this was an upgrade done between the episodes 7 and 12, or it was always like this, but I'm going to assume that it was an upgrade done afterwards because of his character has been progressing. It is established that the G-Man Skibidi Toilet is the most powerful Skibidi Toilet in episode 12, and this is confirmed in episode 17 where we can see G-Man Skibidi Toilet giving orders to other Skibidi Toilets standing around him. 
which includes some of the other powerful Skabidi toilets that we've seen until that point, but they are interrupted by the insanely powerful beam coming from the sky. But this does not stop them, and we get to see that he is not just powerful when it comes to strength, but his defense is crazy powerful as well, since he doesn't even get a scratch from this incident. In episode 18, we were introduced to the first Titan of the Alliance, the Titan Cameraman, and he started overwhelming the Skibidi Toilets for two episodes, and in episode 20, we can see a madly enraged G-Man Skibidi Toilet going against the Titan Cameraman. But since the Cameraman knew about the G-Man's, Laser Eyes Titan Cameraman already had measures against it and brought a huge shield, but his plans don't go as planned when the rocket Skibidi Toilet rams him head-on, breaking the shield, leaving Titan Cameraman's core unprotected, which makes him escape and gives the W to the G-Man Skibidi Toilet. In episode 22, we can see G-Man leading the army and continuing the invasion, but something unexpected happens in this episode and we are reminded of how powerful this entity is again. We can see two large cameramen sneaking up on the G-Man Skibidi Toilet's flush and they try to flush him to end the battle, but it doesn't quite go as planned because G-Man stops the flush midway through which we haven't seen any other Skibidi Toilet do no matter how powerful they are. But this does damage him as far as I can tell because looking at his face it looks cursed and more distorted. This is a repeating pattern that keeps on happening later in the series as well, but we'll get to that later in the video, so make sure to watch until the end. We don't get to see the G-Man Skibbity Toilet for a long while after this point. But as you most likely know in episode 32, the Titan Speaker Man gets infected. But you might ask why that is important. It is actually a crucial point in the series because it's the start of the downfall of the Speaker Men who were helping the cameraman, and it is the start of a new duo in town. Starting from episode 33, we start seeing the Titan Speaker Men and G-Man Skibbity Toilet duo all the time, destroying and invading everything which puts a huge toll on the Alliance, which makes the TV race appear later in the series. But I have a separate video about on my channel. If you are curious about it, you can check it out after you finish watching this video. Anyways, in episode 35, we get to see the duo in action again, and this one shows how cruel they actually are. This is the episode where the cameramen start using the Parasite Disabler gun, but they are interrupted by the crazy duo, and you can really feel the chaos in this episode. I felt the tension while watching this episode for the first time. Because of the rampage of the Parasites, the Skibbity Toilets haven't really suffered any losses until this point, so we have yet to see any improvements on G-Man Skibbity Toilet, but that's about to change soon with the Alliance using more and more Parasite Disablers and curing everyone. In episode 38, we see the cameramen ready to shoot the Parasite Disabler Laser Tank's Parasite Disabler beam to the Titan Speaker Man, but G-Man Skibidi Toilet notices this and we can see that he has been upgraded. He can now fly with jetpacks and also has so much more armor for protection. We can also see his new laser guns doubling his fire output. This upgrade was an upgrade no one saw coming and made G-Man a lot more powerful than before. With the appearance of TV Men in episode 39, a new threat against G-Man has been added, and in episode 47, we finally get to see Titan TV Man go against G-Man's Skibidi Toilet. This is one of the most insane displays of powers we have seen in the whole series, and it's not just one-sided. Both sides are so powerful, but this was the first time we saw G-Man almost being defeated. His lasers weren't working against Titan TV Man, but from what we can see, even though he wasn't dying, he was being damaged a lot by Titan TV Man's TV beams, which is actually a crazy feat because it's not like Titan TV Man's TV beams are weak. Instead, they are very powerful, and G-Man Skibidi Toilet can stand against it. If backup didn't arrive on time to save G-Man Skibidi Toilet, he might have been heavily injured after this episode. But as you know, the episode ends with the Titan TV men being stabbed in the TV head and being heavily injured. But something weird happens in this episode. After the Titan TV men pulls G-Man with his hook and uses the TV beam, while G-Man is using his laser eyes, the lasers go out, and after this point, we don't see him use his laser eyes again, but instead uses his laser guns. And before he shoots the POV cameraman, we can clearly see the that he has taken a huge hit and his whole head is messed and his eyes are also back to normal, which suggests that they are either damaged for good or they'll need to recover before he can use his laser eyes again. Many people thought that this episode was a one-sided win against the Titan TV men, but we can surely say that it was almost a tie. 
In episode 49, if we zoom in, we can see that after the events of episode 47, G-Man has gotten some new glasses, and he is still not using his laser eyes. What do you think? Do you think his eyes are gone for good, or will he be able to use them again? And when do you think he'll come back because we haven't seen him for a while? My guess is that he'll appear again at the end of this season where there will be a crazy battle, just like episode 47, including all our favorite characters. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss my newest Skibidi toilet analysis videos.